Hello, hello, uh, Danger Noodles, fellow Danger Noodles, welcome to the, sh the stream, as well as I have an announcement. Uh, I forgot you are going to be calling people that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, since I've been forced to have so many days off from work, I'll be doing a bunch of recordings of games on the week. Weekends, I'll ha I'll do Pixelmon recordings, and during the weekdays, there'll be Little Nightmares with Castle Crashers, if I can get it to fucking work. Yippee. Yes. Do y'all know if, uh, do y'all know if it is possible to, like, Use an application to increase the like to make an image bigger. No, no, oh, right. fuck, because this image will not be very big. In fact, it is fucking tiny. Wait, I, I started Mom. looking up does slapping a tattoo, uh, <laughs> oh, no. does. Does oh, no. slapping a tattoo help uh, with itching? First things I see, does slavery still exist? Does slavery still exist today? Yes. Does slavery still exist in Africa? <laughs> it, it very much still exists. <laughs> Why Actually, would that... Seven... Actually, seven states voted on if... Uh... If I forget what it was exactly, but it had something to do with slavery uh, and bringing it back, and so people had to vote uh, and re-read this law several times in several states uh, if if slavery should be brought back. And there was like a fifty-fifty chance that they might not understand the law and accidentally vote for slavery to be legal in those states. Oh God, that's, that's oh God! Don't you love America? Oh, so your tattoo is supposed to flake. I thought something was going wrong with my tattoo. You're all supposed to keep it uh, moist, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I have one cream. I have lotion. cream. Yippee! Alright, anyway. Let's make it a good 720p. And large image. God damn it, please give me something good in the gambling machine. No. I got a skateboard. Yippee! Okay, right before you start, I must send you this. I'm going to send this image in the, uh, uh, in the uh, the chat for sending my <laughs> my edited fish images. Are are they scary? No, they're just like like I'm I'm making a Cards Against Humanity deck that's based entirely on fish. And I decided that I'm going to basically label every fish as well as add memes onto images, which means that I need a place to upload all of these images that I'm making so that I can add them to the card deck on the on the website. Mm -hmm. So Bright made me an all new channel to do that in. Mm. But because it's Cards Against Humanity, it's also made 18 plus, so you cannot see it. Uh, let's see. Going to go to the... Uh... Wait. Okay, I decided to see what, while you are doing that, I decided to see what S uh, egg allergy SCP was. Apparently, it's a Spanish to English dictionary that if you start to read it, <laughs> you'll start having an allergic reaction. Oh. Oh. That's not, that's not very good. <laughs> it's a safe class, though. Oh, I mean, you, technically, if you don't read it, then you're, you're fine. Yeah, you literally just have to, like, that's, it's pretty easy to lock in a box. Yeah, but if, if the issue, I think, that, like, the issue comes if it's, if it can be duplicated, and if the duplicates, uh, have that issue. Damn it, I'm trying to figure something out, because, like, the, my, my edit of the image is not 18 plus but because it came from an 18 plus image does that mean that i that does that mean that i can't post it elsewhere i'm kind of curious what it is probably like, should I, do safe 
That better save to the sorry. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> child, you cannot see. I guess. Anyway, here you go, Bright. This is the this is the image I'm adding to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, we ready? Listen, child, all you need to know is that it is an edited version of the meme that you accidentally overheard us talking about, except I zoomed in on the fish's face, and I put in blurry text at the bottom, fuck bright. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just the goldfish. I, isn't there, like, an entire, uh, like, oh, fuck, I, oh, I'm so dead. Isn't there, like, an entire marine life-based uh, dating simulator? Yeah, I've seen something like that. I think Jack has played it. Yeah, there's got to be multiples. Not to mention it was 18 plus when I first saw it. <laughs> also, oh, dear God, Bright. <laughs> Unlike Glub Glub, who is very much not humanoid and it's just a goldfish. God damn it, I got crushed by her. The wings flare! No! <laughs> Bright. I was killed by Twink Slayer! God damn it, Bright. <laughs> I was killed by Twink Slayer. I'm not a Twink. Why would they slay me? Oh no. Oh, I well, killed I the Slayer. It's good. Anyway, oh, well, that's the well, that's the thing. The way that they slay Twinks is probably not the way that they killed you. <laughs> let's, let's see if Hatcho will get another new favorite SCP tonight. Oh yeah, child, you weren't. Sorry, Bright, just last thing. Child, you weren't here for my new favorite SCP, were you? No. It is a Keter class that is nicknamed Jurassic Park. And you know, like 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 what what do you think about when I mention that that is its I, name? I think I remember this. I think I was here for this one. I just wasn't paying attention that much. Uh it wasn't it like that someone tried to recreate uh, Jurassic Park, if I remember correctly. No. No, it is not that. It is a very different SCP. Just like uh, conjure up the images that you think about. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs, yeah, dinosaurs. Uh, very... Hunky men that gay guys fawn over. What? Actually, that kind of that actually kind of fits as well, thanks to one of the incident <laughs> logs. Yeah. The bikers. Women. Hot I women. don't. Has it Hot, mentioned? Smart I don't know. Okay. Dragon, anyway. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jurassic Park is an SCP in which, at random moments, the ghosts of dinosaurs will possess vehicles that are using some kind of fossil fuels, and they will start doing dinosaur things, but as vehicles. Transformers? <laughs> no, they don't transform. They're just cars. Like when when a rap like a pack of raptors possessed a a bunch of bikers bikes, the raptors just bucked off the bikers and started beating the fuck up on the bikers before they were lured away with a bunch of chickens and exercised. What? There was a semi truck that was possessed by presumably a Tyrannosaurus that then began to go around, drive around, and hunt down smaller cars like sedans. Yeah. <laughs> sedans do. They probably have children in them. Well, yeah. Did but they hunt a, down any white vans with blacked out windows? That was not mentioned. With let's ice see, cream there was, on the side? Let's see. There was a. Uh, oh, yeah. There was a, there was a plane. That was possessed by what appears to be what seemed to be an Azdurkid pterosaur, and it eventually flew. It 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 started flying madly, and then landed on a sea sh seaside or like the side of a river, and started attempting to dig with its wheels before eventually running out of gas, which makes the ghost go away. And then when they went to, like when the foundation dug up where where it was trying to dig. There was a bunch of fossilized eggs. Oh. It's sad, but still. It, this is ghost dinosaurs and ghost extinct animals taking over cars. There was also, what was it, a like a ship or a submarine? I think it was a sub... Yeah. I think it was a submarine 
that was taken over by what we presume to be a megalodon. <laughs> and it started oh. hunting shit down. Oh, that's kind of badass, not gonna lie. Oh, fuck. Someone's hurling, like, actual cannonballs at my face. Anyway. I killed Twig Slayer, let's fucking go. Anyway, <laughs> if you go to stream planning, you'll see the first SCP of tonight. Uh, stream planning. Open this up. That's just a- is that just a bunch of servers? Yes. Okay. Like, the internet is an SCP, confirmed. I it... mean, have you seen the shit that goes on? Someone straight up said that someone on TikTok was glorifying autism by yeah. saying that all water is thousands of- actually not thousands, millions of years old. Oh and them, gosh. like, pointing out that someone got some scientific facts wrong was glorifying autism. Anyway. The nickname of the SCP is called The Beloved. Ranbu? No! <laughs> I don't know, that's the thing. The first thing I think I'm... of. I'm sorry, can you say that again? My brain, like, briefly shut off as a defense mechanism from what the child said. Oh. Ranbu, a Minecraft it... YouTuber. No. No, I mean the thing before that. The nickname oh. is The Beloved. D beloved. Uh, D. D beloved. D beloved. I'm gonna end you. D d d d d d beloved. I'm gonna end you, Hatchet. Anyway, on with the Can SCP. I end first? No. Damn. D beloved. <laughs> anyway, on with the SCP. SCP-1769 is a 14-line section of non-functional script capable of infecting certain websites, specifically those with free user accounts and free communication between users. This occurs by the apparent self-introduction of the text into the website's page source, though the exact mechanism of this process is unknown. Any person with an active account that is currently logged in is considered to be exposed to the phenomenon. After accumulating approximately 225 minutes of total exposure, subjects will become infected. The human version of the infection is hereafter referred to as SCP-1769-A. The lines of script themselves consist of a 14-line English sonnet titled Redacted. The nature of which is unclear, but has been linked to the vocalizations in the later stages of SCP-1769-A. The text itself exhibits no anomalous properties until they are introduced into the page source of a website that meets the aforementioned criteria. This can also occur through data expunged, making it a Great. priority that access to the containment file remains strictly controlled. SCP-1769-A infection will will progress through five stages. Stage 1. Subject will begin to retract from all forms of communication that are not internet-based. When inquired about this, they will respond as though this is normal and describe other forms of communication as feeling strange or disconnected. Stage 2. Subject will refuse all forms of communication that are not internet-based and respond with hostility towards efforts to force them to communicate otherwise. Subjects will continue to focalize at this stage, but this is not considered to be communication because it does not appear to be directed at anyone or anything in particular. The vocalizations are always in English and tend to occur in iambic uh, pentameter, often des describing an entity called the Beloved that the subject interacts with online. These vocalizations will occur regardless of whether the subject has internet access. Stage 3. Symptoms of stage three, or stage 2 persist, however the subject will begin to emit radio waves consistent with a w, WLAN signal. This allows them to access the internet without technological medium and can also be used to communicate with other infected individuals. References to the beloved increase in frequency, and the subject will demonstrate a slavish reference for the object, often describing their willingness to do anything for it. 
Stage 4. Symptoms of stage 2 and stage 3 persist. In addition, the vocalizations of subjects become anomalous in nature. Any individual expo exposed to said vocalizations will become infected. The specific nature of vocalizations at this stage is unknown due to these properties. Stage 5. Subject will lapse into a coma, but continue to vocalize and emit radio waves. If a subject at this stage is allowed to access the internet, any communication elicited in this fashion will be in English, use iambic pentameter, and display the same anomalous properties as the vocalizations. Individuals that observe messages or comments left by stage 5 subjects online will become infected. The infection is not lethal, but the coma has so far proved irreversible. If an individual infected with SCP 1769 A dies, there is a redacted percent chance that a, a new variation of anomalous text will emerge. There is an addendum. Do we want to read it or do we got everything? I think we got everything we need. Oh. It's 4chan. Yeah. This is 4chan. This is like your average Redditor that like spends like five hours on Reddit a day. Oh shit, and in the addendum it says they're they're thinking about a hypothesis that they might infect the foundation network. Oh. Oh god. Please <laughs> no. So that could be really bad. Or really funny. There's a 50-50, honestly. Well, if it infects the Foundation Network, that that so many employees will be infected and not actually care for the SCPs or stop the SCPs. Point, yeah. Yeah, so it, would that's a problem. It, it would basically cause the, the, the worst containment breach ever. Yeah. So this does contain a serious threat, if the hypothesis is true. Yeah. That what comes to the issue is of if it is true, though. Or if it is, is even possible. Did it say that, like, there's the hypothesis that it could uh, infect the SCP, uh, and infect them, or that it has infected them? Oh shit! Um, they had to change how to use the Foundation Network because this SCP can infect the Foundation Network if they're not careful. They have to use either a single, uh, or it, uh, use a single free, e a single fee equal to one EUR for access to the Foundation's network. They have to use that. Otherwise, they would be infected. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what an EU bar is. I don't know either. It it's based the the point is that this only infects places that have free accounts. They made it so that SCP employees have to pay on the website so that this thing can't infect their servers, uh, which is terrifying. Yeah, but at the same time, that also renders it effectively useless on that end. Uh, I... I have no idea where to put this thing, honestly. Yeah, because if it I... infects, like, certain websites, like, governmental websites, and it starts infecting that, that could be a huge risk. Oh, no, it's, I'm not even thinking that. I'm thinking Google. Oh, shit. Yeah, it would infect the entire world. <laughs> Google, Twitter, and pretty much anything connected to Microsoft. Uh, uh, that Discord also has a, an online thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Discord. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, already Spotify. Be <laughs> every well, then again, it does also kind of necessitate some level of text me right. texting. So Spotify's out. So, yeah. in other words, you're safe on Spotify. Everyone move to Spotify. <laughs> no, because the thing is, the part is, my Spotify, uh, it will not let me back on, on Google only. Uh, and I don't know why. 
your band. No, my oh. account still works on other uh, like uh, Microsoft Chrome and stuff. It just will well, not work for well, uh, on Google Chrome, and I don't know why. Well, child, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say this, but you are doomed to become a redditor. <laughs> I would. I think I would rather be dead than. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't know where to put this. Like, if it, it if it goes uh, onto yeah. certain sites, it could literally be a oh, huge God. threat. Oh God! All of my sites I can't talk about give free accounts. Oh no! I get back. Also, I think legally they do have to give free accounts. No. Wait, no, they uh, don't. Maybe there's, not. there's. There's sites that where you have to pay a certain premium. Yeah. Like the publicly accessible, like anyone can make an account and watch anything on the site. Those do need free accounts. But there's also paid for services for those accounts. Let's stop talking about that. Um, yeah. I'd say world uh, at this rate. World changing, like if, yeah. Yeah, like anyone who interacts with this shit gets infected, and then they become a Redditor, and then eventually we have a whole world of Redditors that are all comatose, is not good. The only good news is that it's it's not lethal. <laughs> I mean, being in a, basically, a, like, a catatomic coma isn't much better. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we probably put this world changing. Well, then come to think of it, does the person who's in the coma get to constantly scroll through the internet while they're in the coma? Well, they can't move, but like they're connected to the internet, so I would assume. Yeah, like they they are basically an internet modem. <laughs> yeah. Everyone well, right would be in in fucking like Jesus Christ. That's horrifying to think about. What the fuck? Uh... Well, actually, see, that's the thing. The greatest threat to us that the alt right poses is a physical one. If we make them all comatose redditors, they can't touch us. Fair point. Also, I sent uh, tactical nukes to people and I killed two children. Oh God, no! <laughs> I committed an Obama. No, uh, <laughs> never commit an Obama. So anyway, uh, oops, I'm posting the next SCP picture. Whoops, I committed war crimes. Tee hee! <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Well, uh, dressed up as. Oh god, what the fuck? Tupac, as dressed up as in, as in uh, a get up inspired by Tupac. <laughs> Tupac would have never supported this. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, uh, the next SCP pictures in stream planning. Why is there just a caution sign with a shirt in it? Well, its nickname uh, is called Retail Specters. It's obviously a bunch of nudists scared of clothing. I highly doubt that that's the SCP. I feel like that exists, though, honestly. Wait, okay, I gotta I take a, a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this because apparently this SCP also has an actual picture in it. It looks like something from the back rooms. By the way, Bright, the stream is paused on Discord. Yeah. Oh, that's probably because I have this. Uh, I had it down. Sorry. Eh. Bitch. Hot take. Hot take. Um, mint. Mint ice cream with chocolate chips right. in it is really good. You're about to see that why. Ain't a hot cake. You're about to see why it's, it looks like something from the back rooms. Why did you say that was a hot take when in actuality, your take... Oh. <laughs> when in actuality, child, your take on ice cream is pretty cold. It's a cold take, child. Oh my god, shut, shut up, stop! It's a very cold, like, frozen take. Like, liquid nitrogen take. I, I can't be if you, tell if you're being sarcastic or making an ice pun. Yes. The answer is yes. I am doing both. Mortal Kombat Mobile! 
My no. phone's too filled up with fucking random little mobile games to play Mortal Kombat Mobile. I wonder if I actually got I'll the wrong Mortal number Kombat down. Hold on. What'd you say, child? I got hit on a hammer with a hammer on my head. But who the fuck would play Mortal Kombat on their phone? I don't know. It sounds like genuinely awful. awful. Yeah. I yeah, like, that. I can't imagine that would be well optimized. But she says you have to put in, like, quick inputs and stuff. That just sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, as well as, like, multiple button presses at the same time. Like, some of the really complicated combos are, like, difficult as fuck to pull off. Mm -hmm. Which is why, like, if Smash Bros. was on a phone, it could work. But, like, fucking Mortal Kombat? Yeah. A game purposely made. Okay, so... Well, I mean, last... to be... To be fair, Mortal Kombat isn't Tekken, so it's it's like, like not as bad. Yeah. Anyway, there are layers of like, holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with this? When game? I last, anyway, when I last got looked this up for the Keaters, like I like I said before, they mo they can have reclassifications because of new generations. It happens. Yeah. This has been reclassified. Mm. Okay. It's now Euclid. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I keep getting crushed by a roller. So I guess I'll just read yeah. it, but we already know where it's going. Yeah. Classified. But it might, we might change it to Spood, though, if it's funny. I highly doubt it, seeing the picture of it. It's an empty warehouse with a caution sign that shows a shirt on it. This does not seem like it's, this is, this does not look like it's going to be very good Spood tier material. Yeah. Anyway, SCP-1775 is an abandoned, redacted department store located in Detroit, Michigan. SCP-1775 was closed in 1979 and show, shows weird and damage typical to Detroit's urban decay. With Back up. Sorry. Sorry. Bright. Did you just say weird instead where? of where? I don't know why I said weird. That was... <laughs> I'm sorry. I that one just <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that one really set me off. Yeah. Right, are I you apologize. a Weezer fan? Weird. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. Weirdo. Yeah. There you go. Detroit's urban decay with interior support beams and ceilings and advanced stages of neglect. Although similar in appearance and condition to other abandoned buildings in the Detroit area, SCP-1775 is Distinguishable by the lack of any evidence of impromptu human habitation, such as trash and makeshift bedding. SCP-1775's anomalous properties manifest between the hours of 9 o'clock and 20 o'clock every day of the week, excluding Sunday. During this time, the damage to its interior will be repaired, restoring to it to near perfect conditions walls will, will be repainted crumbling support beams are restored etc despite these cosmetic changes the interior of sp1775 will remain devoid of any material not present prior to the activation event with the exception of scp1775-x scp1775-x are a series of humanoids Spectral entities that manifest within the interior of SCP-1775 during the activation event. Aside from uh, occasional deviations, SCP-1775-X instances follow a set pattern of behavior during all activation events. All attempts to interact with or directly alter their behavior patterns have failed due to their intangible nature. After the, the cessation of an SCP-1775 activation event at 20 hours, SCP-1775-X instances will vanish, and the interior of SCP-1775 will once again reassemble its inactive state. Attempts to observe SCP-1775 during this transition have been met with failure. Recording equipment placed in the interior spontaneously fails, and personnel present during the shift have never been record re recovered. SCP-1775-X Behavior Log 
entity dash three period of activity 11 o'clock to 17 o'clock monday through thursday description manifest near a shelf at the back of the store spends the entirety of the manifestation event bending down and picking up non-existent objects and placing them on the shelf entity dash nine period of activity nine o'clock to 18 o'clock tuesday through saturday Manifest behind the counter at the front of the store, currently theorized to be the cashier. Frequently moves its fingers up and down in a type of motion in front of its register. Occasionally pausing to make motions with its hands resembling the removal and organization of cash. In city-29. Period of activity. 9 o'clock to 20 o'clock, Monday through Saturday. Description. Stands near the entrance of the store when its hands binds it back. When a person enters the store, it will briefly wave at them before returning to its previous stance. To date, it has never shown any signs of movement unless a person enters the store. Is that it? Well, uh, there is an addendum. Well, I guess it's a pretty good thing that this is already reclassified, because my brain was so focused on fighting, I forgot to listen. So it's, okay, so it's a oh, no, I decided to read the addendum. I guess I think I should read it. You got okay. lit on fire. Addendum 1775-A. On several occasions, SCP-1775-X instances have deviated from the reported behavior. A brief summary of these deviations is provided below. Entity dash three. Date redacted. Before placing another item on the shelf, it places hands over its head and assumed a fetal position. It remained in this position until the event ended at twenty o'clock. Entity dash nine. Date redacted. Stepped away from the counter and covered his face and his hands in an apparent sign of the despondence. After 30 minutes, it ceased his action and resumed his normal behavior. Entity. Redacted. Date. Redacted. Deviation. Uh, ran f from his manifestation point in the west side of the store to the east side, colliding with the opposite wall. After colliding, it rapidly punched the wall for approximately three hours before collapsing and remaining motionless until the event ended at 20 o'clock. It just got sad. Mm. I mean, wouldn't you be sad? It just sounds like a capitalistic hellhole. Also, why was this a keter? I... Capitalism <laughs> sucks. Uh -huh. I just, it's just kind of sad. Capitalism, the key to class. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, kind of. So, uh, are you assigned? Yeah. We aren't putting the capitalism ghosts into spoot tier. I mean, we do have a what the fuck tier. <laughs> I forgot that we have that tier. <laughs> What what's in that tier? What did we add to that tier? I think there was a like one that was a dimension that had a bunch of crab creatures come out every now and then for no reason. Oh right, yeah, that's that's like where we put something that like we want like that's just like completely baffling and we don't understand why it's a keter, but also don't want to put it in either of the other two places. Yeah, uh Can you I crabs? Also, when I got this picture, it was before I found out about the rubber and how shitty of an SCP YouTuber they were. The who? The rubber. The rubber? The it, reason... Dude, it, it's not... The name oh. is not as... Like, if they're not bad as... Well, they are bad, but the, the name sounds a lot worse than what the channel does. Yeah. Uh, also, um... The reason why they're notoriously hated by the SCP community 
is because they usually leave 75 to 85 percent of the actual article out of the video and just put their own stuff in. I killed a man, but I got killed. Myself. I'm not sure how you feel about that hatchet. I mean, it's kind of like, like I can get what you're doing, but uh, like, if I guess that's a big thing. Did they like frame it as if this is the 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 whole truth about these SCPs, well, or are so, they just uh, like pretty much? Okay, then yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, there was actually like, one for... time that was like the man bear, which is an SCP that's a safe class entity, and they re revealed it to be a Keter, <laughs> which made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, like, the spirit of Creative Commons is kind of doing your own thing, but right. like, if you're not gonna like stick to the source material enough to make it clear that like or if you're not gonna be honest enough to make it clear that hey this is just my thing you don't this isn't this isn't how the original articles look then blah yeah. also what the fuck is this image i'm looking at oh wait i'm gonna re delete that and re-put that in because i just realized something oh it's kind of sad you just realized something? Uh... The only oh, yeah. clothes they're wearing is pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are called the adults. Oh, I remember these! I remember these. I like these. Uh, so this is one of your favorites. It's not one of my favorites, but it's one that I remember. I just yeah. I just saw it sub zero and half. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, I, have a I just on his behalf. Not gonna lie. Oh my I god! Mean, I got crushed by a rock. It isn't. It isn't my fault that he's so easily cut up with my macalotto. Yeah, he seems. He seems like a soft little guy. Is that really ironic? Because he's literally, like, one of his variants literally has him cover his body in hard ice for protection. Anyway, let's talk about the adults being... Oh, fuck, I just remembered... Oh. Wait, can we talk about this one? Uh, I can I'll... leave if you want to talk about it. Wait, Hedgett, do you actually remember everything about it, though? I don't remember everything. Like, it has a sort of bait-and-switch where it sounds like predatory behavior is happening, and it's still technically happening, but it's also, like, not sexual. I think as long as... I, 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 I think as long as it is shown it's not sexual in any way, I think it should be fine. I mean, as far as I know, it's not that. Like... Like, I'll stop if it gets to that point, and then we just classify it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we can't just classify it without talking about it in depth. You know what? If if it gets to that point where we need to, we shall deafen the child. I can deafen myself. No. Well, we can serve or deafen you to be extra sure. <laughs> that Plus, then we don't have to deal with the complexities of like trying to get you to realize that you can come back. Yeah. True. Yeah. All right. It'd just be more convenient. On with the SCP then. All right. SCP-1788 is a process treatment or other means of biological transformation, a prepubescent human being subjected to SCP-1788 becomes an instance of SCP-1788-1. Currently, the creators or discoverers of SCP-1788 is unknown. Groups of interests are being investigated. Uh, finding the origin of SCP-1788 is considered a century level priority. What's what does century mean? 
I think it's something that the author made up for this particular thing. Okay. I'm not sure, though, so... Eh. Oh, well. Massive Grandma. Shut up. <laughs> oh, God, not Massive Grandma. I was killed by someone with the tag, Massive Grandma. No, Grandma! Anyway. How could you do this? Yeah, anyway... Uh, on Reaching Adulthood, SCP-1788-1 instances display uh, predatory behavior towards... Oh... I should yeah, probably, that's what I was... I, I'm gonna reread that. Uh, Alright. On reaching adulthood, SCP-1788-1 instances display uh, acts, uh, no, behavior... Cre 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 creepy, abusive behavior towards unrelated children. There we go. Typically, they will settle in a large urban center, find a form of white-collar employment, and then begin... Come on! <laughs> Tracking every prepubescence in the area. I told you. It... Oh boy. Again, it it doesn't it doesn't delve into what that stuff normally leads to in real life, but it's still. Yeah, the... I can I can see in the next paragraph it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Approximately once every six months, an SCP-1788-1 instance will attempt to abduct one of the prepubescents it has been tracking and take them to a remote or otherwise unobserved location where it is subjected to the SCP-1788 process and turned into an instance of SCP-1788-1. Little information has been gather gathered from captured instances of SCP-1788-1. Instances are of above average intelligence and show extremely strong resistance to, to compulsion, coercion, torture, data expunge, and other forms of information extraction. Every instance what? to date has also shown signs of malignant narcissism and psych psychopathy. Malignant. Malignant, sorry. They generally have a complete lack of empathy, but while also showing keen psychological insight. For those reasons, among others, unauthorized contact with SCP-1788-1 instances is strictly forbidden. Individual instances generally do not voluntarily gather or interact except for the purpose of uh, adult time. In fact, reproducing. <laughs> Well, adult time doesn't always lead to re reproduction. Okay. Yeah, the point is reproduction. Yeah, reproduction. There we go. Re process Be of reproduction. Time. In fact, when two oh, or more oh. instances are placed in the same environment, they typically fight for dominance. This behavior is not gender-linked. Females and males will fight one another in addition to their own genders. And in a mixed-gender group, there will, will only be one dominant individual who may be male or female. Captured instances are housed separately to minimize damage. Multiple instances have been s seen in the same general urban area, but never in a ratio greater than 1 in 100,000 normal humans. Uh, reproduction season apparently occurs annually, but it is not seasonally linked. Instances of some environments have been observed. Uh, reproduction in the summer, while other instances have been observed reproduction in winter months. SCP-1788-1 instances will exclusively reproduce with one another. They will have no apparent uh, attraction to normal, human, normal humans. Gestation period for SCP-1788-1 instances is possible. Uh, uh, real, real quick, gestation. Oh, gestation, got it. Gestation period for SCP-1788-1 instances is approximately 40 weeks, roughly the same as humans. Their offspring are genetically indistinguishable from normal humans and are not considered anomalous. However, they are prime candidates for ongoing for ongoing the SCP-1788 process. Their capture or termination is to be be considered high priority, second only to the termination of SCP-1788-1 instances. <coughs> so, 
so we got that there. Yeah. That everything from the main article. Yeah. Yeah, so um I think this is a pretty decent uh certain groups. Yeah. They, yeah. It's it's basically just a uh, predatory behavior. Yeah, when when I was when I read that nickname, I thought this was the aristocrats for a second. I don't know what those are. Well, I know what they are conceptually, but I don't know that SCP. Think yeah, about I... underground nobles who like to consume human flesh. I'm sorry. What? And a lot of inbreeding. That's just what goes on with nobility. I got a well, hammer thrown at me. Now I'm kind of concerned that, that that sounds like it could easily lead into some anti-Semitic stereotypes. Yeah. Did they specify any, like, caricatures? Because I, I feel like that's when it starts dipping into, like... I think they oh, God. said... Oh, fuck. I think they said they weren't even really human anymore. Or something like that. Uh, still dipping its toes into anti-Semitism. I don't, I don't think that was the point of it. I mean, well, that's... Been... Like well, that. yeah, like, that's the thing, like, something can be anti-Semitic without someone intending to be anti-Semitic. So, yeah. for instance, it could be a wild coincidence that the villagers look like that. It oh, could no, be the villagers wild... purposely look like that. The villagers in Minecraft purposely look like that because uh, Notch is an anti-Semite. Hold on, ch child. Let me finish my statements. Hey. It could be a wild coincidence that the villagers look like that. You know, the, the designers, and here's the main thing, the majority of designers would not have looked at the things being put into the villager design and think, this is anti-Semitic stereotypes. Yeah. It's the fact that there was even a single person who was intended to do that, or just the fact that these things exist culturally that leads it to happen. Another example is the fact that a lot of tropes surrounding vampires are very anti-Semitic bullshit. I didn't actually know. Hold on, I'll send you vamp. two pictures oh, yeah, of the aristocrats. Bible. That way you can get a good picture in your head what they are. Yeah. Of course, there's also the chance that they would be basing it off of um... Yeah, the other thing I can think of is Lovecraft's uh, The Nameless City. Or not The Nameless City. I mean, um, Lovecraft Shadow... is a piece of shit. So. Yeah, Sh Shadow over Innsmouth. And even then, like, Shadow over Innsmouth with kind of a lamp-shaded uh, commentary on his view of ba basically great replacement bullshit. Yeah. It's still a good story, but um, like any of these stories, you need to look at them with an understanding of the fact that they do come from a pretty fucked place. I say either aristocrats. Yeah, I saw. But anyway. Oh, we don't even get to the aristocrats for a while. It's 3,288. Jesus Christ. But yeah. I need to get this sequencing done. I had it like a couple days ago. Alright, the next one, uh, because it has people people's faces in it, I'm gonna spoil it. Uh this is the next SCP. I'm pretty sure one of the people on there is like one of was one of the key suspects in the um uh fucking zodiac killer case ah uh, well its nickname is layla layla well let's see what layla is oh god damn it there's a paragraph that has a bunch of redacted in it oh just hope they're warranted yeah. all right SCP-1790 is an accumulation of human memories and an associated personality capable of preserving 
its existence after death by transmitting itself into the mind of a newborn infant. SCP-1790 currently inhabits the body of a of a Hispanic female, 33 years of age. SCP-1790's current state is the seventh instance that has been identified to date. Its interviews, it is claimed to have existed at least redacted distinct individuals since its first incarnation and redacted. Interviews and testing have determined that all instances of SCP-1790 possess full recall of known memories of each prior instance and share similar personality traits. The means by which SCP-1790 transmits to a new instance at the time of death is unknown. All attempts to block transmission have failed to date. Transmission of consciousness appears to occur at the time when brain activity ceases in the current instance and is not prevented by keeping the instance clinically alive after brain death. In all documentation transmissions, the new instance has been identified as a person with a documented time of birth less than one hour after the assumed time of brain death, born within a 500 kilometer radius of the location where the previous instance died. SCP-1790 has shown no preference for infants of any specific gender or ethnicity. All instances of SCP-1790 have been noted to to possess a high degree of natural charisma and rhetorical skill and have been demonstrated to be highly capable of convincing others to follow their instructions. SCP-1790 has demonstrated an expert ability to cold read individuals within seconds of beginning a conversation and determine how to converse with that individual in order to coerce their agreement. No indication of a memetic or hypnotic effect has been associated with this ability. Persons interacting with SCP-1790 have been reported no compulsion or involuntary urge to obey or agree with SCP-1790, except in that they find its rhetoric highly convincing. SCP-1790's persuasive abilities are maximized when it's able to converse with another person face to face, covering SCP-1790's eyes, removing the second party of from its physical presence, or conducting a, a conversation and writing rather than verbal verbally inhibit its ability to read and persuade other persons. In all instances where SCP-1790 has remained outside containment for a significant period of time. It has taken advantage of, of its charismatic abilities to establish itself as the leader of an insular and, and self-contained religious movement, whether by establishing one itself or assuming leadership of an existing group. Once in the position of leadership, SCP-1790 will induce the evolution of rights within the sect, idolizing mass murder and ritualized human sacrifice and will, if not taken into containment, eventually organize and carry out a large-scale com convert campaign of ritualized murders targeted against the general population when within its area of influence. This campaign will continue until SCP-1790 is either killed or apprehended. The sect, sect collapses due to the arrest or death of its members, or the locale in which the sect operates has been depopulated at which point SCP-1790 will abandon the sect and establish a new movement elsewhere. In all documented instances of SCP-1790 related campaigns, pregnant women and children under the age of 8 as well as members of associated sects themselves have been excluded from those individuals targeted. SCP-1790 was first identified in 1868, when redacted, the ring leader of a group of thuggy cultists operating in the area of Rajmahal, Rajmahal India, was apprehended by British authorities and sentenced to death. Prior to execution, redacted claimed to be the reincarnation of redacted, a thuggy leader who was who had been executed during the first wave of the British anti-thuggy activities in 1832. Redacted's 
comments were dismissed at this time as in 1893, 22 years after British authorities in India, India had, had declared the thuggy movement extinct, a new thuggy cell was found and uh, to be operating near Delhi, led by Redacted, who, who similarly claimed to be the reincarnation of Redacted and Redacted. Redacted was transported to Great Britain and placed in custody there until his death of natural causes in 1899. In 1916, a string of murders in London with a methodology similar to that used, used by the thuggy was traced to an Irish-born woman, redacted, who told police upon apprehension that I have lived a thousand years and I'll return and kill again and again until I kill my Majnun and he rises anew from the slaughter. After the connection was discovered between Redacted and previous subjects, she was surrendered to the Foundation custody. The name Maj Majnun, referenced to by SB1790, had been identified by Foundation historians as referring to Quays Ibn al Wawa a figure from Persian folklore who was involved in a forbidden romance with Layla, the daughter of a man who refused to allow their marriage. The degree to which SCP-1790 identifies with this figure has not been determined. A memo from Dr. Samesh, I am concerned that SCP-1790 is getting better at hiding itself from us each time it is reborn. We did not apprehend its most recent from a form until it was nearly 30 years old and had killed several dozen people. SCP-1790 has had nearly a century to learn the way the Foundation operates and what we look for when it reincarnates. Uh, when it reincarnates. And its natural charisma goes a long way towards stopping its parents and family suspecting that anything is amiss. I recommend that we we relocate SP-1790 to a more isolated region and establish a more severe revision to procedure and to pass so that future instances can be identified in their infancy. Request received Ethics Community re Review Pending 05-12. And that's it. This is one of those that's like really interesting and creepy, but it isn't going to cause like an absurd amount of damage. Yeah. There's like it's still basically just operating in the same way as individual uh cult mentality based uh killings. Which ultimately, like, while terrifying are still a relatively small number of the population. Yeah. And I can definitely see where they were uh, pulling some inspiration from, because this just sounds almost exactly like the Mason murders. Uh, just added, like, a little cult significance to them. Which I think is interesting. But besides that... Honestly, I think it'd be a stretch to put this in city. I'm thinking certain groups. Mm -hmm. Usually, that goes with most, uh, not most cults. Is it's most uh, like certain groups. Yeah, like except for that one yesterday, where it's like, oh, I don't think you were here for. You might not have been here for that one. Uh, a, a cult that's basically just spread through, like anyone. Walking by, either oh, no, no, joins the I, cult. I, I, that one, the you were there, one. yeah, yeah. Like that's a rare instance where a specific cult is just incredibly dangerous within the SCP Foundation. Oh uh, yeah, but this is kind of meh. Also, uh, it's it's kind of like it's kind of on the same level as uh, the Daughter of Shadows, uh, in a way, yeah. like. Like, yeah, she, she wants to kill thus and thus and so many people, but ultimately that amount of people she intends to kill is like a blip in the human population. 
as tragic as it would be, obviously, it's still like she's not going to end the world. It's going to commit a, a, a tiny bit of uh, probably just a, a bit of murder. <laughs> So, just a little bit of murder over here. This is, just a little goofy murder. I don't. I don't think this is one of the keeters. Let me hold on. Let me check like my a list. True, like a like a like a true oh, Brexit yeah, no. geezer. Just a bit of murder. No, it's not at all. But there's no one, one SCP there. that's literally called SpongeBob Watches. <laughs> what? Mother. Speaking of spun speaking of SpongeBob watches, I just saw the giant forearm or forearm having muscle man in half. Now he has two arms. On both sides. 